people and welcome back to part 29 of Begusia, the city's skylines build guide. Hope you're all having a fantastic day and ready for another episode. Last episode we worked in our central park area and I left you guys looking kind of an overview uh, of what we kind of managed to produce so far and it is slowly coming together. Back in this big area which was kind of sitting just above where we left in these little park assets I've gone ahead and designed a whole bunch of different paths and kind of parks that kind of function <laughs> so the idea I was going for here is I wanted kind of different patterns um, and then associated different trees and kind of layouts with them so here we have almost like a maze um, although it doesn't really function as a maze because you can see over the hedges <laughs> so it kind of kills the point but you get the idea uh, of what we're going for, surrounding them with all the hedge assets. And then over here, we've got some very straight and linear paths surrounded by bushes and green trees. Uh, with a little eatery here as well. Uh, this place looks pretty cute. Again, we've done that a million times before. And then over here, some kind of nice curved paths with some purple trees and some rocks. And each of them has a park cafe. See, so there's one here, here, and here. And um, so, you know, they're, they're pretty themed and it all kind of spans out of a nice little roundabout that I've just decorated in a nice circular pattern using bushes and large bushes and then also some trees and overgrowth in the middle with a statue in the middle and also added in some rock assets here and a couple of little paths that link up back to the main road alongside a basketball court so the central park is slowly coming together you can still see we've got some odd empty spaces here and a little bit around here as well still needs to be filled in to really give this place what we want it to be. But, uh, you know, kind of from the city perspective view now, it is really starting uh, to appear as though it is a kind of central park, this big green gem uh, amongst all the concrete. Uh, also over here, uh, just between the central park and our financial world trade center district, I have added in kind of a city nightlife center so we kind of focused on two different plazas and again all these buildings here are of the leisure specialization so they're all kind of nightclubs and gyms and we've also added in the first train station uh, in the city which again flows down this line uh, all the way back into uh, the transport hub so there's a few people coming and going on there and then we also moved in the fantastic fountain uh, to be a little more central uh, into the central park so we're getting a nice kind of green theme now uh, as another plaza on the corner here uh, as we begin to approach the central park and it is slowly coming together here uh, still got a couple of spaces here i've also gone ahead and expanded uh, the road network by quite a bit um, compared to when you guys last saw this so previously these two highway roads they came down and they landed on the ground around here and then flowed back down into the main road that runs through the city centre. That has now changed, as you can tell. Um, so the highway now continues all the way down here to connect up with the roads there. Uh, there's a couple of different paths as well crossing over it. This is what we're going to be working on today, but we'll get to that. Then also added in the, some roads going under the highway. And we've started to kind of form a little bit of a spider interchange here. Um, so there's lots of different ways on and off the highway at various different points. And then um, that's just going to allow people to move around a little bit easier. So we will, the reason I did that was because I wanted um, this kind of feel, you know, as when you're driving along the highway, you're driving through very dense uh, buildings and you kind of have these big skyscrapers along it. And by the way the road was built um, previously, we, won't, we weren't going to be able to do that. So that's why I've added this in. This isn't final, obviously, no, it's very clustered together. Uh, we will detail this. Just want to throw something in uh, so it would appear as though, you know, this is the kind of feel we're going for as you're driving along the highway. You're going to kind of head past these big skyscraper buildings and uh, it'll end up looking pretty cool in the end. So slowly starting to come together over here. Uh, in other news, we have also redesigned the port over here. And um, these are our ferry ports that take people uh, on and off the island here. This isn't final. Again, I wanted to kind of make this a little bit more important. You can see the uh, the keys here are really messy. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and tidy this up before episode 30, which will be the city tour. 
Um, so we definitely want to do something a little bit more important with this. Previously, it was just here. We've also added in a couple of little rock details uh, amongst the bay to kind of give this thing, you know, boats can't come past here. And it's almost as like, you know, this rock has continued to slide into the ocean. Uh, maybe not this far down, but just playing with some rock features in the water. Again, it's all up for debate and uh, it certainly is not final. And on that note as well, in episode 31, we are going to be reworking our port to look a lot more like a port because right now it looks pretty bad. <laughs> and then we're also starting to experience some traffic issues as well. Uh, this thing is not performing particularly great and uh, it's time to rework it. Uh, but that'll be coming up after the next city tour. Uh, we're going to do some nice terraforming uh, to cut in some nice bays and docks uh, all amongst this land here. So that's going to look really cool when we get around to doing that. But uh, I still need to figure out uh, exactly how that is going to work. But on to today's episode. Today I wanted to work on a green part of downtown. So this place is going to have uh, lots of nice tall green housing. And I've gone ahead already and laid out the road network. So previously, um, the road network ended here alongside the tram station. Um, we've also got a little bit of paths coming through under the train tracks now. And then we've turned a little a little tram turn around here and connected up a bunch of paths to this. Uh, so we'll end up seeing how that turns out. Uh, with putting some zoning in and around here. Uh, and there's also uh, a bicycle path through here as well. Um, because I wanted to make a little bit of a kind of... A bicycle highway that is going to flow um, kind of in and around this new green part of town to kind of focus on that green theme. So the district has already set up Begusia Greens and let's have a look at some of the policies. We have recycling which of course is going to uh, cause less garbage accumulation and slightly reduce tax income. Uh, parks and plazas are going to get an increase budget, a budget increase by 20%. And it's also going to be moderately increased land value around parks and plazas as well. Uh, and then obviously recycling plastics. And I'll probably stick um, preferred parks on as well. And then I think that's uh, also encourage biking to uh, help with the, uh, the cycle highway. And uh, electric cars was the other one that made sense as well. So let's go ahead and start getting in some uh, detailing. Uh, we also have the uh, sustainable houses and sustainable commercial in here as well, um, which is the obvious ones that we want for producing uh, our green, our green theme. So we're going to pack in uh, some nice high density residential up along here. And again, that's going to look really sweet um, as people are kind of driving along the highway. And let's go ahead and see where else we can take this cycle highway. Uh, so the cycle highway was an idea first introduced to me by the wonderful subscriber Bill and Ted, uh, who has been hanging around the channel for a while now, and um, he kind of pitched this idea in Fremwood, uh, which was our old uh, City Skylines vanilla Let's Play, and uh, it has since become uh, something of a favourite idea of mine. I do like playing with the cycle highways now. Um, okay, so let's connect these guys up uh, if we can. There we go, starting to get some nice high-rise flats. So area's going to look pretty special when we finish with it, I think. Uh, okay, let's have a little look-see here. Let's go on to grid snapping, uh, because I want to kind of keep this as symmetrical as possible um, with the grid lines, so we'll see how it turns out. So right here, I think it'd be a good place to bring some people down. Uh, with my paths, I like to come out by three instead of five. Um, and then do a decline. I think it just, it's a little bit smoother and you know you don't really want them to be too big. Uh, okay, let's also snap to the angle as well. There we go, and we'll have uh, the bike across the highway. I, I also need your guys' opinion on what you want to sit here. We do actually have some ore um, industry to play with here, but whether or not you guys want to see kind of a heavy uh, industrial area so close uh, to this part of town uh, I'm not really sure so let me know what you guys want sitting on that side of the highway uh, let's just throw in something here really quickly um, just something to link the power through there must be something Japanese garden they will actually look quite nice for this green part of the city should I uh, sit them through there we go fantastic 
Have a look at our services actually. Uh, we do need more sewage. Uh, let's go ahead and hook in some more sewage stuff uh, before we do anything else. Because that is going to need to be done at some point. There we go. Okay. Still needs to make a sewage treatment area as well. That is definitely on the list. Yeah, so let me know what you guys want over here. I have started to bring a bridge over to start to plan for the infrastructure. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think should kind of sit uh, within this little, almost like peninsula protrusion uh, that comes out. There is a possibility of ore industry there. Let me know if you guys would be up for that. Okay, let's continue on with the green part of town. So a nice high rise is starting to develop here now. Again, it's all flanked by this bicycle highway that is coming around. Um, let's have a look at the tram lines. Let's get the tram lines in. Um, so, trams, trams, trams. It's from here. Uh, and then you can stop just here. And then either side of here. Again, that, this secondary stop isn't necessary. Uh, but just for kind of aesthetic purposes. Uh, we'll make it look like that. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this tram line before it comes out. Uh, line details, this can be Bagusia Greens, and of course, why is this Bagusia Greens? We'll have to make the uh, the trams green. And here they come. So they're going to start flowing out and it's going to start bringing people uh, in and out of this area. Let's kind of make a little bit of a town centre or a city centre for uh, Bagusia Greens. Let's start with some commercial uh, alongside the edges, probably along here as well. Uh, it's actually placing a park asset. Let's go for. I think the large playground would work nicely here. Let's place that in, and uh, we are going to have a little bit of room uh, to do some path stuff here as well. Uh, let's go ahead and bring these guys out as straight as we can, probably all the way down here and then we'll just snap on from a couple of places probably where the pedestrian crossings are that would make the most sense uh, I wonder if we can actually come down here as well uh, without deleting the path there we go uh, so this path here crosses over from the financial district uh, made a little bit of a shape here and um, just where it crosses the road uh, but you know that's pretty cool. Do some nice tree detail in here at some point as well. The uh, the to-do list for this city off camera is growing ever, <laughs> ever longer. Um, definitely need to start working on some of the things I said I would. I want you guys know how it is. Uh, just being so busy. Uh, okay, let's have a little look. See how we are starting to look. Okay, see if there's any unique buildings that might go in here. Uh, I'm not sure if there is. We have the vanilla zoo, but we'll probably save that for the actual zoo district itself. See, there is a few things that we haven't um, unlocked here yet. Yeah, there is a fair few. I mean, look at that. A crime rate over 50% to unlock the courthouse. That's... um. That's pretty crazy. We'll have to uh, kind of uh, cheese that out a little bit, I think. Yeah, so there's nothing major, really. Nothing that's really going to um, sit in for what for what I need it to be. Okay, uh, we've got a little bit of free zone along here as well. Let's bring in some high-density commercial up here. Be nice to sandwich some of this in between the bridge as well. And uh, let's continue with some more commercial um, around the the tram park here. Let's kind of get some some nice shapes in the blocks. Uh, probably along here as well. We've got a nice big stretch. Let's leave the game on three speed and watch some people come in. 
I think definitely residential here. And uh, probably alongside the train tracks as well. So the train tracks themselves don't produce noise. This It's the stations that do. Um, which I guess doesn't really make sense. But, you know. Look how busy the paths are at the transport hub, guys. It's crazy. So many people <laughs> using these. Um, there's the proof in the pudding that, you know... Uh, Elevated pedestrian footways will keep vast amounts of foot traffic off of your roads. Um, there's so many people moving around the transport hub. This transport hub is by far busier than the one we built in Fremwood. Anyway, I'm digressing. You guys will see that in the City Tour next episode. Uh, I'll make sure to focus a lot on that because as you can tell, I'm a rather big fan. Okay, let's have a little think about what we want to kind of lie uh, in between the train tracks here. So I think I'm going to come out. Um, just with a regular grassy banking road, if I can turn my bloody snapping on. There we go. And I'm going to come up to here. And I think I'm just going to do kind of a little, a little bit of design here. Let's make sure that our um, the Bagusia Greens district is flowing uh, into this area here. Let's kind of tidy up along the highway. There we go, and then we'll bring it up to here as well, and you know what, probably down here too. I would imagine up until that point. Okay, uh, it's going to be nightlife here. Uh, it's going to be like a nightlife district using, kind of making some really dirty dark alleyways under the highway. That's uh, something else that needs to be done at some point as well. Uh, okay. Let's delete this path here. And then we'll hook that up uh, via another medium. Let's bring him down here. And then there's no real need for this one to be here, I don't think. Okay, let's uh, bring some more commercial in along this main road. Uh, we'll not have that one. And then bring this guy on a path through. Uh, so I hope you guys are all having a fantastic uh, Christmas. Uh, if you are watching this over Christmas, I'm um, expecting my views to uh, drop slightly over the uh, the festive period, but it's, it's totally fine. Uh, you guys need to be spending time with families. Okay, so I'm wondering how I'm going to get this road uh, hooked up. But you know what? I might actually just leave it. I might leave it as a dead end. Because there's only going to be residential along here. So really, uh, the need for that to be linked up somewhere else isn't really that important. And because my residentials are so close to the highway, I'm going to actually upgrade my highway as it passes through this part of the city into the highway with sound barriers. Uh, and that's just going to stop as much sound passing through. Uh, which is going to increase the happiness of our residents and obviously not make them sick from noise pollution uh, which is not really what we want um, also with that in mind as well uh, fun fact of the day trees in city skylines do uh, help with noise pollution and um, so we're going to place in a couple of them right down the back let's kind of bring them up and around here so again, they're not too close to the highway, uh, and that's going to provide a nice little border. Let's have a look at our noise pollution right now. Yeah, so right now, the more than okay. So there's a big cluster around the highway uh, interchange here. But, uh, that will soon pass. Okay, so you've got people saying uh, that there are not enough workers in the city. That's totally fine. Uh, let's go ahead and zone up this boy here. Actually, you know what? Let's try and rebuild this so we get... Um, proper squares in because I want this to be uh, again just as symmetrical as possible now up here that's going to give me a 2 there we go that's what I wanted so just a nice perfectly uh, square housing district for some housing. Uh, let's also bring this guy along here. 
And then we can probably make a few uh, that are going to pass by. Let's also bring this ring road round uh, just to make sure that we're actually going to um, leave enough room for him to pass by. Let's just bring him over. So right now we're starting to see that real stacked infrastructure uh, starting to present itself uh, when we start expanding our connections with uh, lots of different cars and roads. Uh, passing over one another. Okay, and then I'll leave that over there, and then that can flow uh, as another access point. But uh, we are slowly starting to come together uh, in the downtown area. I feel. I hope you guys are finding that as well. Uh, let's come back with our snapping on and carry on working on. Um, Yep, got another perfect height there. Lovely. Uh, got a nice big block here too. No, not there. That's not really ideal. Uh, probably one on the corner here. Let's go for one like that. And then just like that. Up here. So it's going to be really cool to see um, lots of houses kind of developing. Uh, around the highways. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how that turns out. Let's turn our snapping off and uh, get some paths in through here. wonder if I can actually squeeze through there without breaking the zone in. No, we can't. Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's bring one down here, definitely. And I'm using the dirt paths because I am... Um, just want this place to have a nice green feel. And uh, Do we want more residential here? So we have a little mix. Let's go for residential, commercial, small residential, big commercial, and then medium residential. We have some nice mixes. Okay. Slowly coming together. Uh, let's hook these guys up with paths uh, alongside uh, the main road. And don't worry, we will be jumping into a time lapse uh, to detail. Uh, all these little streets off that we're doing here. Let's kind of bring him up there. And then again, just along the point here. Let's have a look at some more assets. Let's get some parks placed in here. Uh, so I think a dog park would be a fairly um, obvious thing to have around here. Maybe we can look where we can place this. Maybe on the corner here. And that'll be uh, okay. Yeah, probably a biotech. We do have a biotechnical gardens. Um, I think I did delete it, didn't I? Uh, so these guys are not in the water grid. Let's swap them up. Okay. Uh, let's have a little more commercial uh, in these blocks here. And then probably along the, the big, the larger blocks here as well. And let's kind of have a look at a little bit of corner detailing uh, that we can do with these kind of greener uh, aspect corners. Just go for some bushes uh, along the corner, and then definitely a bigger tree, and just uh, it's a little bit of undergrowth would go down nicely. Maybe not that big. There we go. Let's just uh, have a little mooch about the tree. And then that's just going to tidy up. What would be an otherwise really boring and uh, an empty corner. 
mask and ties in nice with the theme as well. Lots of green uh, kind of buildings around here. I'm not really happy with these spaces. Uh, maybe we can afford a little more residential in here. Let's just do some nice symmetrical little four block ones. And, uh, hopefully that should uh, flesh this area out a little bit more. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about, this nice stacked feeling of uh, there's lots of different layers to the city. There's highways and trains and uh, bypass ring roads uh, all squeezed in amongst these high-rise buildings. But, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for building, guys. Let's uh, have a little look at some uh, detailing time lapses and uh, we'll see what we can make this place look like in the end. So, uh, yeah, I'll speak to you in a moment. Okay guys, that is going to do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, a like below is very much appreciated equally as much. If you didn't enjoy it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. This area has turned out rather nicely, in my opinion. And don't forget to hang around for the rest of the intro tires to see how the detailing turned out. Uh, it's nice to kind of implement some of the green renewable districts into the downtown. It really kind of creates a little bit of a green gem in and amongst all the concrete. And uh, we'll probably do a few more of these throughout the downtown as well. Just nice little spots of renewable housing and energy. And uh, it'll be really nice to see uh, all this cycle highway uh, coming in when people begin to use it. Uh, it does look rather nice kind of flowing around the city, I think, with the trams underneath. And uh, it's nice to kind of see this really stacked downtown feel and vibe starting to develop around the city as well. But that's enough from me. Don't forget to let me know what you guys think over on the other side of the highway. I want to know what you think should sit there, be it or, or just more high density stuff. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, enjoy the rest of your day.